Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Kari Paralife. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Hyundai Santa Fe 2.4 GDI engine guys and you're trying to find the torque specs and bolt sequence for the cylinder head gasket. Stay with us, we will explain that as we go guys. Now, uh, even though we're demonstrating, okay, with the engine out of the vehicle, we don't need to remove the engine for any of these repairs. We simply have it out due to the fact that we'll be making hundreds of videos that can potentially save you thousands of dollars. And with the engine being out, we can clearly show you everything guys with the great details so we can teach you how to fix your car for free every single car we get at the garage we make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you another thing guys if you need to buy any parts or tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from so uh, now a few things that we need to actually guys uh, talk about here so <coughs> excuse me now some people lubricate their head bolts some do not now do your research what we usually do uh, now again do your own research guys check your manuals but we usually lubricate them a little bit and we wipe them if you have too much oil that oil can mess up the torque in my opinion so we lubricate and we uh, put them back in okay wipe them and put them in okay and all the bolts go in with no problems okay but the first two bolts the washers actually guys okay the washers you have to install the washer first okay and you need to get it in the hole there and then put the bolt because otherwise it doesn't go guys okay like that those are the first two bolts okay they differ okay now the uh, now before we continue guys the valve lifters they need to be at exactly the same location where they were before we took the cylinder head apart if you don't know that guys okay then you need to check the valve clearance and all that stuff later so you need to make sure that uh, everything is in specs because otherwise okay uh, it can it can affect the vehicle uh, having an open valve or a valve that is rattling guys valve lifter that's rattling so what we're going to do next we'll just use the small gun here just to screw them until to the point that doesn't have any uh, any slack we're not going to put any torque at all just so we don't do that by hand and now we will explain the torque specs okay and what to expect here so perfect we just have a few more and we will share the sequence with you and everything else guys try to go in a cross pattern okay even from the beginning because uh, that's how you're supposed to install the cylinder head if you want to see how to clean the cylinder head to prepare it for a new cylinder head gasket we have a great video that explains that how to do how to clean the cylinder head on auto repair guys please check it out uh, very helpful information that can save you quite a bit of trouble in the future so now guys okay what we need uh, next what we need to do next specifically guys we need to now go okay right here uh, we're going to set our torque range guys the first step okay according to the thing the first step need to be between 32.4 newton meters and 36.3 newton meters we have ours at about 35 we are going to start with bolt number one right there in the middle you hear the click and you stop immediately that's it bolt number two right here now Bolt number three over there. Bolt number four right here. Then we go to bolt number five. Six right there. Seven. So you go in a cross pattern. Eight here. Those are the ones with the non-press assembled washers, pre-assembled washers. Okay, and number ten, last bolt. Now, what we need to do next, guys? <coughs> Excuse me. Next step, guys. We need to do two more steps and. That's where you don't even need torque wrench anymore. From here, things will start getting ugly. So let me, okay, 
Prepare now, you need to get a big two and you need to, okay, let's position it. You need to do 90 to 95 degrees for the next step on each bolt. So 90 to 95 degrees, okay, on each bolt. Okay, that's 90. Perfect, I might need to hold the engine. Okay, bolt number two, okay, one second, one second to see, uh, I need to get the sequence to make sure that we do them in exactly the same sequence that we had them before. So bolt number three right here now. Okay, bolt number four right here, perfect. Then we have bolt number five will be right here. Bolt number six, okay, next step right there. <coughs> Bolt number seven, guys, we're going to go in the corner here. Awesome. Bolt number eight, right there in the corner. Bolt number nine, back there. 90 to 95 degrees on that second step, guys. And bolt number 10 over there. Now, the next step is where things will get a little bit ugly, guys. Okay, why? Because we need to do one more step, guys. Okay, let's, uh, let's start on it now. One more step, and the third step, guys, it needs to be, again, from 90 to 95 degrees. <coughs> so, now I will need to hold the engine for the last step. So on all of them we need to do 90. Okay, perfect, to 95 degrees. Bolt number two now. Okay, bolt number three right there. Yep. 90 degrees. Perfect, bolt number four right here, yep. Let's do that. Perfect, the ball number five will be right here, this one. <coughs> ball number six in the corner there, yep. 90 degrees again. I'm holding the engine not to spin, ball number, okay, seven, there. So one second, one second, I need to reposition myself. Okay. Perfect. Bolt number eight in the corner here. So about 10 minutes, guys, soon. We'll be ready with that head gasket nine right there. Whole video so far, about eight minutes and 25 seconds. Perfect, and the last bolt is number 10 over here, guys. This one is where the engine will move more because it's towards this side, so let's do that one now. All right, that's it, right there. So you get your exercise for the day, guys, doing the head gasket. You can see that's it, that's the torque specs. Hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure it out. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.